I started by studying wild burrows because these animals were doing really visibly interesting things.、Um, in particular, in Africa, it's well known that elephants dig for water. They'll dig wells to ground water, and in doing so, they maintain water through the dry season. All these animals come to these elephant wells and use the water. And I was working in Arizona and was coming across these wells dug to water by wild burrows. And putting camera traps on them revealed that these sites are being used by all the wild native species and and cattle as well. And in many of these systems, these wells are the only source of fresh water, of drinking water, which is really quite a profound thing. And if people thought that wild burrows belonged, if people valued them, dominant paradigm, dominant scientists and the BLM would consider them keystone species for maintaining surface water availability. But because people don't believe that they belong, this is ignored.、And、the thing that's interesting about horses and wild wild burros is that these animals have a long evolutionary history here. Even under the logics of invasion biology, these animals are pretty much was here when the first people came, which gives us another reason to be cautious of how people throw words like harm and invasion. And non-native around. These are very subjective terms. Native to when is the question. And if you look at Earth's history, the Earth has always been dynamic. It's always been changing.